What's up everybody? Welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. Today we're doing a little digging deeper here with Jason Gayheimer. So if you remember, we shot a video a while back talking about all the things going on at Technology Days and we kind of alluded to some John Deere sea and spray stuff. And so Jason, what exactly are we doing here in this sea and spray demo? Yeah, so we've got a talk uh, right before this live demo uh, on sea and spray. And so learning a little bit more about it, we've got field trials out there that we conducted this year. Colin was actually our operator, didn't screw anything up, it was great. Uh, so what we're doing here live, technology days, we just wanna show growers how this thing works. So we've got little plants placed out here sporadically across this gravel. We run the machine, it targets those plants, sprays them. Uh, so it's a great little demo. Give them some information, let them, let them get up in the, in the sprayer, see it, uh, explain it, show them the monitor, show them how it works. Uh, so it's just a great day, great event, great demonstration. All right, Jason, so how does this like technology even work, right? How does, how does everything communicate? How does it know when to spray things? Yep, yep, so if you, if you see the sprayer behind us, it's got a couple triangular brackets up on top of the booms there. Each one of those has a black camera hidden back behind there, targeting kind of in front of the boom. And so as you're running through, speed, through the field, even up to 12 mile an hour, these cameras are watching all the time. And that's either in crop or it can be in a burn down fallow application. So the burn down fallow application is kind of like what we have here, where it's just looking for green, it's gonna spray anything green. If you're in crop, you're gonna tell it, okay, I'm spraying soybean field, and it's gonna identify everything that is not a soybean, and then it's gonna spray that. So you can set your sensitivity levels, you can set the area around each weed that you wanna cover. So if you want a, just a really tight pattern around the weed, or if you want a bigger buffer area to ensure you're getting good coverage, you can set all those things that monitor. But as you're spraying across on the fly, it's targeting those weeds and it's spraying them. Yeah, we love the cool up, up and coming technology. And again, we are so thankful for John Deere to be able to have, have this sprayer out here to show this demonstration and do these field trials. Yep, what I think is most exciting is too, is like as we run more and more acres, right? With these seed and spray machines, a bigger data set, it's only gonna get better and better oh, yeah. and better, right? Yep, yep. All right, Jason, I'm guessing we've taken some sort of chemical cost savings into these trials? Yeah, yeah, so when we ran these trials, we averaged all the replications across the multiple fields that we did. Uh, and so in, in the field, really we were in that 48 to 52% savings. And so what our chemical cost is, once you factor that back in, uh, we saved about a little over $24 an acre by utilizing the sea and spray technology there. So we got across a thousand acres of soybeans. Uh, this actual upgrade kit on this machine costs about $25,000 for the hardware components, right. installation, yeah. all those things. So a thousand acres of soybeans based off of what we did this year would have covered that cost. So look, pretty close to one year uh, payback for most growers, maybe two at most mm -hmm. with this type of technology. Uh, the other thing too is there is a tech fee for the utilization of that technology. And so what that tech fee is, is when you're running through in sea and spray mode, which you don't have to, you can still use this entire machine like any other sprayer in broadcast mode mm -hmm. to do fungicides or just broadcast residuals, right. whatever that may be. But when you're in sea and spray mode, if you're doing a fallow application, so like a burn down, a, a, a green on brown yep. situation, you're gonna pay a dollar per acre for the acres that it does not spray. So the acres that you did spray, your cost is what's in the tank. Right. The acres you did not spray, it's a tech fee of a dollar per acre. Okay, so in crop use, it's $5. So the acres you did not spray, there's a tech fee for $5 an acre. So basically what that boils down to is as long as your chemical cost for that pass right. is more than $5 an acre, I think it is, yeah. it's probably 30, oh, 40, yeah. 50 dollars yep. an acre, yep. then you're gonna be making, you're gonna be saving that difference there. Yep. So yep. Uh, pretty cool technology. It's awesome that they can bring it to market at that price point, right? 100%. But that is why that tech fee is there. Yeah. Um, get it in the grower's hands for a cheaper price, have that tech fee to help offset those things. Um, everybody's saving money, it's a win-win. And it'll only get better as years as you, years and years go on. Yeah, I think that's where that tech fee comes yeah. into place yeah. too, right? Because John Deere's always evolving this system, right. getting a better data set to make it more and more precise. Yep. Yep. Well, Jason, thanks for explaining this demo to us and you know getting a little bit more information out there on that sea and spray stuff. But, you know, unfortunately, uh, it's 8.20. 29. The buggy started at 8.30. We gotta go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for another episode of The Dig. See you guys. <laughs>